Hello, this is Alexander Cross, Criminal Defense here in the San Francisco Bay Area. If you'd like to learn more about criminal defense, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, Law Offices of Cross and Associates, and feel free to ask questions in the comment section below so that we may respond in the future with more videos for you. So we received an interesting inquiry here on our YouTube channel. This has to do with a fight that resulted in a coma. Let's see here. I had a fight with someone, with a person on the street. The guy hit his head on a bench when falling. I left the place. Someone called the police and they arrested me. The person is in a coma. Okay, yeah. This would be a violation of Penal Code Section 243, parentheses D, which is a battery um, causing great bodily injury that carries up to three years state prison. However, there, you could also be hit with additional enhancements that could potentially increase the punishment that much more. Also, if the person dies, uh, they could hit you under the misdemeanor manslaughter theory and you could be sentenced to 11 years state prison. Now, um, there is also uh, the possibility that you might have a self-defense argument here. Let's say he attacked you and you just used the minimal force necessary. You used the minimal force necessary to keep him off of you and maybe you punched him one while he was punching you and then he fell backwards and, and hit his head. And that in that situation, at that specific with under that specific circumstance, uh, you would have the self-defense argument. Obviously, it would help tremendously if there are multiple witnesses or cameras. But um, that's something that's going to be put forth, uh, put forth by your attorney. Um, and if necessary, it might have to be necessary to take your case to a jury trial, where they would bring in 12 people from the community who would listen to all the evidence, and then they would have to decide based on the totality of the circumstances whether or not you are innocent or guilty and obviously if they do if the DA does not have enough to convince the jury that you actually are guilty of the offense well then your matter should get dismissed regardless if you'd like to learn more about criminal defense here in the San Francisco Bay Area don't forget to subscribe to our channel law offices of Cross and Associates and feel free to ask questions in the comment section below so that we may respond in the future with more videos for you but if you've been accused of a crime here in the San Francisco Bay Area and need representation in court, call us now for a free consultation at 1-800-862-7677. On our next video, we're going to be discussing the case of somebody who got accused of obstruction of justice. Criminal lawyer, criminal lawyers, DUI lawyer, DUI lawyers, criminal attorney, criminal attorneys, DUI attorney, DUI attorney.